Saria Bibi weeps for her imprisoned 20-year-old daughter, Sandal. She's never gone anywhere. She's never left home. She's always stayed with us, and now she's not here. Sandal and her father, Gul Shir, were both imprisoned on charges of blasphemy, charges they say are false. Their arrest came on October 9, 2008, after a mob of more than 100 angry Muslims, similar to this one, surrounded their house, stoning it and the church gate nearby. Their church and home were in a predominantly Muslim village near Faisalabad. Muslims became enraged when they heard broadcasts from several mosque loudspeakers, accusing the two Christians of desecrating the Quran. The announcement came after Sandal's little eight-year-old brother Imsal found some pages of the Quran at the side of the road in front of his house. Family members say he gave them to Sandal, who immediately turned them over to a Muslim neighbor. Saria suggests the family was set up. She believes the Quranic pages were intentionally placed in front of the house because Sandal and her father were aggressively winning villagers to Christ. Sandal was praise leader at the church. Fifteen-year-old sister Saba sings Sandal's favorite worship song. Some people desire heaven, she sings. I desire Jesus. She was always telling others that God is the way, Jesus is the way to salvation. She always said that to everyone who attended. That message was also broadcast from the church loudspeakers, words that some Muslims did not want to hear. Saria explains what happened as the irate mob came to attack. They shouted, kill the Christians, and they were throwing stones. We were frightened, so we locked ourselves in our bedroom, and Sandal read from the Bible. We were weeping and we were praying, God, you are the only one who can save us now. At 2 a.m., the police arrived and took Sandal and Gulshir away. When they took her to the police station, I was worried and afraid. But my daughter was saying, Mama, don't worry. God is with us. He will protect us. Don't worry. Sandal and her father are not alone. Many Christians over the past two decades have been falsely accused and imprisoned on charges of blasphemy. Pakistan's blasphemy law contains three main sections. Blasphemy against Islam, blasphemy against the Muslim holy book, the Quran, and blasphemy against the prophet Muhammad. The maximum sentence for those found guilty of blaspheming the Quran is life imprisonment. That's what Sandal and her father could face if convicted. The maximum penalty for those convicted of violating blasphemy against the Prophet Muhammad is death. No Christian has actually been executed for blaspheming Muhammad, but many have wasted away for years in prison, waiting for their cases to reach a higher court. That's when they're usually thrown out for lack of evidence. School teacher Parvez Masi faced possible execution. He spent five years in prison until the false charges against him were dismissed in April 2008. Among other cases, Street sweepers Amjad and Asif Masi, they were accused of burning a Quran. They were declared innocent after serving seven years in prison. Pakistani Christians are hoping new President Zardari will act aggressively to overturn Pakistan's blasphemy law. In the meantime, Saria and her children are asking Christians around the world to pray that God will release Gul Shir and Sandal and return them to their family and pray for other Christians also who are in trouble like us. Pray that God will help us to remain strong in our faith. Gary Lane, CBN News, Lahore, Pakistan.